Imagine sailing through space, pushed forward by sunlight. Meet the solar sail. Like sailboats, they don't need fuel, and with the help of lasers, they could even help us to leave our solar system and reach other stars. So how do solar sails work? Step one, opening the sails. Solar sails must be big, far too big to fit in a rocket's payload fairing. So they're folded up, launched into space, and then once in orbit are unfolded like a complex piece of origami. So once they're in space, how do they make thrust? Boat sails work by slowing down air and raising the air pressure. This exerts a higher pressure on one side of the sail, and the higher pressure pushes the boat forward through the water. In a similar way, solar sails work by reflecting sunlight. The reflecting light exerts a higher pressure on one side of the sail. The higher pressure pushes the craft through space. In both cases, as the wind slows down or the light reflects, it transfers momentum to the sail. But how do you control the amount of thrust? Like a sailboat lowering its sails, you could simply fold up the solar sail to reduce thrust, but there's a smarter way. Electrochromic materials can change transparency depending on the applied voltage. A sail could use this to control its thrust. If a sail was in transparent mode, light simply passes through, producing no thrust. In reflective mode, the photons bounce off, making maximum thrust. But thrust is pointless if you can't steer your ship, so how do we change the heading of our solar sail? Sailboats can steer by positioning sails on one side of the boat. The higher pressure on that one side creates a turning moment and the boat changes heading. Solar sails can make one side more reflective than the other. The difference in radiation pressure exerts a turning moment and the sail changes orientation. So now that we can change the thrust and steer our sail, how do we plot a course through space? With boat travel, you simply head straight to your destination, but space travel is more complex. Gravity from the sun or planets curves space, so you can't just take a straight path. Reaching your destination is like sailing a boat while being pulled into a whirlpool. Let's say we're orbiting the sun at the same distance as Earth. There are two options. To move away from the sun, you would produce thrust in the direction of motion. As you gain energy, you spiral outwards. This could be used to reach further out planets like Mars. But let's say we wanted to move closer to the sun. If you produce thrust against the direction of motion, you lose energy and will spiral inwards. This can be used to reach closer planets to the Sun, like Mercury or Venus. But there is a huge limitation of solar sails, the small thrust. At Earth's distance, a football pitch sized solar sail would only produce 65 newtons of thrust, the weight of a mini fridge. With this thrust, a solar sail would take twice as long to reach Mars as a traditional rocket. But it gets worse. Light intensity decreases with the inverse square of distance from the sun, meaning that the thrust of a solar sail gets much smaller further from the sun. At Jupiter, the same sail would produce 2 newtons of thrust, the weight of a can of beans. And at Pluto, the sail would produce 0.02 newtons, the weight of a single penny. In practice, a solar sail could never leave the solar system. But there is a potential solution. If sunlight is too weak, why not beam light from the Earth using powerful lasers? Meet the laser sail. With no limit on power, laser sails could reach 20% the speed of light. And lasers don't get dimmer with distance, so you could escape the solar system, even reaching other stars. But there is a major limitation of laser sails. The laser would need the power of 100 nuclear power stations, so don't expect laser sails just yet. Nonetheless, solar sails are a proven method of space propulsion with some great potential. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more science content.